All right, guys, we are on the eve of the equinox, so I feel like it's important to do a twin flame reading this week. What is going on with the collective? Let's see what's happening. This is a very, very important time of year. Not only is it an important time of year, but we are also moving into Libra time period, which is all about relationships. It's all about balance. It's all about me versus or we versus me, right? We're balancing that energy. So let's talk twin flame here for a second. All right, so let's see where we're going. Thank you for all of your notes and your very kind um, well wishes. Took a little break yesterday and I woke up this morning being like, oh my goodness, what's going on with twin flame? It just showed up for me this morning, big time. So let's do it. Let's see what's going on, okay, for the collective. Tomorrow night, some of you, there's still a few spots left for the multiple revenue stream class. If you're wanting to create something that builds your life and you can create something um, for yourself, I want to help you do that to make your life stable. We are in North Node and Taurus after all, right? Distant Thunder, Desert Passage, trust that there's a divine plan, mm -hmm. and Embracing enthousi Enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. This is definitely about, uh, there can be a lot of stuff going on in people's lives uh, or in the twin flame connection that is uh, causing some energetic upset, okay? If you feel like there's <laughs> like Greek drama, right? Something going on off stage, Greek drama, that's what it was all about. Things would go on off stage and then you'd hear about it during the play. You're like, wait a second, I didn't get to see that. Yeah, because Greek drama happens off stage. Something is happening off stage. It might not even be part of your life, but it's definitely impacting your energy, okay? Whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine. The, the empaths, all of us empaths, very much having issues with sleep lately, having issues with um, this kind of roller coaster feeling. And I, I feel like instead of contracting, it's about expansion, making yourself bigger, making your energy bigger, more positive. Do my lemon thing, okay? If you, <laughs> Some of you who are on my Thursday Live with Pathfinders, uh, we were talking about uh, clearing, clearing energy, and I use a lot of lemons in my own house. They look pretty, and they also uh, absorb negative energy. You can even put one under your bed, cut it in fours, put some, uh, put some salt on it, put some sea salt on it, and it draws any kind of negative energy away from you. So if you're having some kind of like, oh my God, something's going on. I can feel it. I can feel it. You want to get yourself grounded and you want to get yourself to the place of trust that there's a divine plan. Everything is always working out for me. That is your mantra, my darling. Okay. So let's look at divine feminine. Nope, nope, nope. Right here. Let's look at divine feminine. Yes. <laughs> uh, everything's always working out for me. That's the truth. Whenever I say something and the next card I see is the Ace of Swords, it's like, yeah, man, that's some truth right there. Okay, so let's see about Divine Feminine. <laughs> right, Charlie? He's asleep. Let's see about Divine Feminine. What's going on for the Divine Feminine right now? This is a collective reading. This is for the collective. All right, so Three of Cups. Page of Wands, yep, yeah, okay. Chariot, Five of Cups, Tower, World, Knight of Cups, a hundred percent. This card has haunted my readings for the past couple of months. And this says to me, Divine Feminine, that um, you may be focusing on the wrong thing right now. You may be focused on a person who I don't know, is a friend or is somebody who is um, close to you energetically and they may be like taking up all the space, all the oxygen in the room. This can be a friend who has a lot of drama going on in their lives or this is somebody who um, is in your life that is pulling your attention away from where it needs to be, okay? And I feel like it's very lovely, compassionate energy from the divine feminine. But what needs to come in next is this inspiration, okay? And we talk about distant thunder. We have this tower going on. So if you are having some difficulty sleeping, if you are having some, some issues around anxiety or whatever, I almost feel like 
It's not about the thing you think it is. If you're worried about your work, it's much more about the person, your personal life. If you're worried about your personal life, it's much more about the work. There's something going on that you're, you're attributing it to a thing in your life, to a part of your life that isn't true. Okay. And instead of trying to figure it out, what you're wanting to do is to bring in, um, sorry, you're wanting to trust first of all, but you're wanting to bring in this new inspiration so that you can move forward. And I think some of us, some of the divine feminine energy tends to, um, Focus on, there's definitely third party energy here. Some of you are focused, some divine feminines are focused on third parties. Not everybody, but some of, some of you divine feminines are focused on third parties and it's, so let me see if I can say it so you can understand because it's energetically, it doesn't matter that it's about love or it's about money or it's about um, family problems or anything like that. There's definitely a triangle energy here. So it can be you and your you and your boyfriend and your mom. Like, you know, she could be meddling in what's going on. You could have an issue with a boss who's interfering. There's something going on here about third party. It doesn't have to be tr like a traditional third party. When, what you think, what I'm saying, like, oh, someone's cheating. It doesn't have to be that. You can actually have somebody else in your life going through something and you're taking it on as if it's happening to you. Okay, that's what we empaths do. All right. It's not you. This is not about you, Divine Feminine. So you really need to kind of let it go. You might need to like draw a curtain or draw a boundary, an energetic boundary and a heart centered boundary for yourself. And ironically enough, by doing this, by by like, OK, I don't care where this energy is coming from. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just going to focus on my own thing. That's what moves you forward. OK, and that's when the new inspiration comes in. That's chariot. You're moving forward. That's beautiful. Um, it does make me feel like uh, something from the past does fall away, but you are going towards something new. What does this have to do with twin flame? I feel like there's something blocking uh, an important step in the twin flame path. Now, I don't know if I'm talking about union or not, because we can look at that in the extended, but I, I'm definitely feeling that like, you see how in the chariot card, he is in charge, right? This is the opportunity card in this reading. He's in charge and he's trying to bring these two together to drive forward, to go straight forward. In the in the tower, these two people get blasted, right? They get blown to different winds. Like let's, you know, cast cast them out to different winds. I feel like some of you might be focused on a person that is in the way of union, is in the way of the next step of the twin flame journey. Something energetically, some person energetically is in the way of the twin flame union. So let me look at divine masculine and then I'll get the energy of the connection. So what is going on for divine masculine? Again, this is for the collective divine masculine. So since most of us realize that twin flame is about internal union, take this however it resonates, okay? If it resonates for you internally, this is what's going on for you internally, that's fine. If it resonates for what's going on with you between between you and your twin, that's fine too, okay? All right, so, okay, underneath, I didn't pull the card underneath here for that, but this one wanted to come out. King of Swords. The situation for the Divine Masculine is strength. Six of Pentacles, strength and balance. Opportunity, Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess, Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Divine Masculine is closing up um, a situation. There's the three of pentacles here about collaboration. There's a third party involved in this too. I feel like the third party for the masculine has to do with money, has to do with stability. Um, it has to really, you have to really move from a situation that you felt was stable into something that is more uh, risky. 
You might be partnering with somebody and that might be risky. If we're talking about the divine, divine masculine, um, the third party is either money or time that's getting in the way of union. And if they choose the money, if they choose to stay for money or something like that, it is getting in the way. And I think they know it. I feel like that's why the King of Swords came about. All right. And I'll just pull that for this one over here. The, um, the emperor, there's definitely something about seeing things clearly. I feel like the masculine knows that if they're choosing financial stability, the financial stability could go away. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me that they would choose something uh, that they deliberately move away from. But I feel like the energy is that they're choosing something that isn't meant to stick around. They're choosing something that is meant to transform. And that can be how, you know, a lifelong partner, they could be choosing to stay in a situation um, that isn't necessarily a long-term partnership, but they do want that. And I feel like that's about twin flame union. So it does seem to me like the masculine is moving away um, and going toward a choice and feeling like the logical choice is to stay. But I almost feel like the masculine gets kicked out of that. Like they're not going to be able to stay. There's something far, far more important. They do know this deep down. High priestess. Masculines, you do know this deep down, that it's time to move away from a situation that is not fulfilling, that was about like out of balance. Okay, something was out of balance. There's definitely a third party that's in the way of union. All right, I'm going to clarify one card over here. Let's see what I'm doing here. I'm going to clarify the tower, please. Two of Cups. You see how in this card here, see how the, the cloaked figure is focused on the Three of Cups and not the Two of Cups? It almost makes me feel like they're focused too much on the thing that's in the way of the union and not focused enough on union. The masculine is focused too much on the thing that's in the way of the union and not on union. They're focused too much on money. So, and the feminine is focused too much on uh, a heart connection with the masculine, especially, um, let me see if I can say this. The person that's in the way of the union has financial power, all right? Has some kind of financial power over the situation. The feminine is looking at it from, through the lens of, third party. The masculine is looking at it through the lens of third party, but a different third party. Money. Money or stability or something like that. The, the masculine is taking their financial stability very, very seriously, but is not seeing the growth potential with the feminine, is not really seeing that at all. Okay. And if they're choosing that, they really need to um, recognize that things are adapting, things are changing. And there can be more than one um, option going on. And I don't mean like more than one person option. I mean, I think that it's, this is very black and white to me. Same with this. I feel like there's, there's a lot, there's a range of options that neither are considering. All right. What's going on with Twin Flame? Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, Two of Swords, Six of Wands. Okay. Good news. Good news, darling. Um, yes, is there drama? I feel like there's going to be a little drama here. All right. The queen of wands. I feel like there's going to be a little drama. And if you can masculine or feminine, if you can resist the urge to get mixed up in the third party situation, whatever it is, for example, the masculine needs to overcome their need to, um, to stay in a situation for money. They need to become more independent or they need the situation to become less structured. Okay. There needs to be a new deal and a new way of looking at things. I feel like they're looking too much at money and not enough at love. I feel like the feminine is looking much, much more at the feelings of it. Um, 
but has yet to take any action, has yet to take any leadership. And that's why the tower is coming through here, because there is something blocking union here. And I just feel like it's divine feminine, divine masculine, both looking at the wrong things. And so what has to happen is the uh, looking needs to go inward. OK, for both divine feminine and divine masculine, in order to create um, a new opportunity for union. They the things they the things you're looking at. Change only when you change your perspective on them, for example. If you ever watch the movie Sixth Sense. I hope this isn't a spoiler alert for anybody because that movie is pretty old. I don't know how old it is, but if you watch the movie Sixth Sense and the whole time you don't realize that Bruce Willis is dead, you get to the end of the movie and you're like, oh, now I get it. So sorry for those of you who've never seen it <laughs> because it's ingenious the way that movie was put together and it's also ingenious that you get to the end of the movie and you realize that, oh, this is why all this was happening. Oh, right. He was dead. He wasn't even alive anymore. No wonder she was crying. No wonder this was happening. No wonder he was talking to the kid that sees dead people. Okay. So once you finally realize what the thing is, like you've had this like very strong sense of foreboding. What's going on? What's going on? We are now... At the 11th hour, at very near the end of that movie, when you're about to figure out that it's something totally different than what you thought. Okay? Okay. I am going to continue on with this reading. The sense of foreboding and the block to union is something that you don't, that you're not getting right, right now. Okay? Link is below if you want to continue on with me. This twin flame reading, off the chain. Okay? All right. Link is below, Twin Flames. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.